I'm just going to go over a few uh, items that I consider fairly essential that I made the mistake of not buying uh, when I initially purchased this machine. Um, one being the cups. So a proper cup size. Um, if you've read into uh, espresso making and, and you know what you like, then buy the cup that you want. It's going to really help you with your latte art and, uh, and, bit, and the presentation for your drinks. I basically have an 8 ounce for a regular latte. A uh, five ounce, which I filled to about four ounces for a frittato, or as some people call a flat white. I think it's slightly less than a flat white for milk content. And then for a single, I also have this three ounce, which I can use with a single shot and allows for uh, the same style cartado drink. The other uh, main improvement that I wish I would have bought uh, sooner, and it's very cheap, is a 12 ounce steaming pitcher. Uh, for smaller latte style drinks, uh, trying to steam in this large pitcher is really difficult to get the proper microphone. It's much easier in the smaller pitcher. Although pouring from the smaller pitcher I found rather difficult for creating latte art. The other thing is uh, a little more expensive uh, purchase, uh, I think it's about $90, is the bottomless porter filter. Um, and uh, you'll find that you'll use it for a while and then once you've uh, figured out that everything's working properly, you'll probably go back to just your standard one. But it's really great for uh, getting your grind size accurate, understanding your tamping, and if you've got fissures forming, you know what's forming it, and you can see it immediately in that in that uh, bottomless basket. So that's a that's a must have, I think, for learning. The other thing is the uh, the Rocket uh, water softener pack um, works for about six months. Uh, they say it's not rechargeable. I'd, I'm not sure if I believe that. Um, uh, technically, resin balls are rechargeable. I've talked to some local companies here, and they uh, they seem to agree. So I'm attempting to recharge it. I haven't tested the water, but uh, we'll find out on that later. The only other thing I bought is this VST uh, basket. It's a precision hold basket with more vertical walls than the standard uh, double basket. I think the physics behind it makes sense with the vertical walls and creating an even tamping pressure all through the through the basket. Um, with the pre precision holes, I don't know, I still get some uh, trace coffee grinds in the bottom of the cup as per the old baskets. The main thing I don't like about it is that it's hard to uh, measure uh, 20 grams in it. It's a large basket, so I found in the older basket I could eyeball it pretty close to within half a gram. This one I need to use. Uh, a scale and even a cup sometimes to the scale and then in there it's a, it adds a bit of a process to the whole thing but um, I'm sticking with it uh, because the physics makes sense and uh, and as for the quality between the old and the new baskets what you're getting in the cup I I'm not sure I can really tell it's been a while since I've uh, since I've used the old one but I guess I could give it a shot um, so those are the uh, the main things that I would uh, Ensure that you spend a little extra money on, even though it's a rather large purchase to get uh, your grinder and your machine. Those are some pretty nice things to have. And uh, and beyond that, uh, you know, get your decal for cleaning the coffee out of your group head, and and buy some descaler while you're at it. And therefore, you won't be uh, searching for it later on, six months down the road, when you want to uh, clean your machine. This is another thing that I bought. Uh, for the E61 group head. Um, it's a, uh, a silicone that's uh, food safe and uh, you use it basically when you clean out this mechanism here. There's a bunch of um, valves and springs in this uh, vertical assembly down through the E61 group head and you use it in there for lubing that stuff up and it'll just increase the, uh, the longevity of the parts in that, in that part of the machine. So. Those can all be bought through uh, I Drink Coffee. Um, they have free shipping over $75, I think. And uh, just a few things that I really wish I would have bought uh, along with this machine three years ago.